Dear guitar company, stop. This, this right here, stop it, cut it out. Why would signature model guitars upset a man so much? Is it the fact that a man doesn't have one? Is it the fact that the man is just an asshole and he likes to complain about things on his YouTube channel? Maybe. Or is it the oversaturation of the market? The lack of creativity and flair in baseline guitars? The laziness? The simple fact that I don't want to play someone else's guitar. Let's talk about that. Let's get one thing out of the way real quick. Why are there so fucking many? Why does everyone know that this is Eddie Van Halen's guitar? It's because he was one of the only people that had a signature guitar at the time. He made it in his fucking garage. Ibanez currently has 26 signature artists. I've been getting into ESP guitars a little bit more lately. Oh my fucking God. 32 signature artists. That's how many artists that's how many artists ESP currently has. If Tony Iommi's SG had polka dots on it, that would be his signature guitar. If David Gilmore's Stratocaster was checkered, that would be his signature guitar. If Slash's Les Paul had an Enderman from Minecraft on it, that would be his signature guitar. I'm just saying, ESP, you have more signature guitars designed by other people than guitars of your own. Do you have a design department? If Jimmy Page's double neck had fucking, I don't even know. I'm starting to lose track. I can't even fucking remember whose guitar is whose. I'm scared. What the fuck is happening? If everyone is super, no one will be. This is why I'm such a Charvel fanboy. They only have nine signature art. Oh, fuck. Oh, Jesus Christ. Make it fucking stop. Who the fuck is this kid? Charvel has 35 signature artists. There are hundreds of guitar companies. Most of them have signature artists. Three of those companies have 93 signature artists. Are they fucking giving these things to everyone? Because I haven't gotten a fucking call. Joey, that guy that plays down at the tavern every Thursday, does he have a fucking signature guitar? Does he? What the fuck is happening? That's where we are at right now. I don't know whose guitar is whose. Kirk Hammett has a glittery purple ESP. I've thought for the last three years that guitar belonged to the guitarist from Deftones. It doesn't. It's Kirk Hammett's guitar. Even though the guitarist from Deftones has a bunch of glittery guitars. No, the, the, the glittery purple one belongs to Kirk Hammett. The, 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 the red eight string that's glittery. All right, I'm being a bit of a pussy sitting here talking shit from behind a screen. How about you go into the real world and see what it has to offer? We're here at the, gu the Guitar Center in K Kennesaw, Georgia. <laughs> We're gonna shoot it up. We got Machine Gun Kelly's guitar. Who is buying that? Is anyone actually buying that? That is light. Feel that. That doesn't oh even feel God. like a guitar. <laughs> Petrucci. Yes. That like by John Petrucci, that entire model or something like that. I don't know this shit. I'm not fucking KDH. It is different in person than online. You know what I mean? I feel like when I'm shopping for guitars online, it's just like a lot of <laughs> a lot of signature models. Right? That's, that's very true. Whereas when you come here, I am deeply conflicted and confused. How come whenever I get online, all I see are signature guitars. But then the second I walk into a guitar store, I can't even find 10 of those fuckers. I'm gonna do some detective do research and see what I can find. A lot of you were probably thinking in the first two minutes of this video, well, the reason that the market's oversaturated is because they fucking sell well. That simply cannot be the fucking case. And let me tell you why. They do not make these things. They do not produce them. They do not make them. Out of all the guitars you saw in that guitar center, we found six signature guitars. The company will make the guitar if they know it will sell. Anything else is what we call marketing. I want you guys to think with me for a minute here. Think about how this might play out, okay? You're a big company and you like money, but you're also lazy as shit. Now everyone you sell your product to is really good at creating things and being artsy, making things look cool. Why don't you get them to make your product look really cool so you can post it all on your Instagram and on the front page of your website and everything. And then boom, your company looks really good. Fuck producing that product, are you joking? Do you know how much money that costs and how long that takes to produce a product that looks like that? Now allow me to show you where this laziness has become a real fucking problem. Look at this beautiful, 
piece of machinery that Scott LePage has designed. That is one of the best looking guitars I have ever seen. As much as I love the design of this guitar, I'm not gonna fucking buy it. I'm not Scott LePage, I'm Uncle fucking Judy, and I want my own fucking guitar. So what does Ibanez have to offer as far as that goes? Fucking kill yourself. What is this? What is this nonsense? First things first, that, that's that gotta go. This sunburst thing, what is it, 1964? Modernize it. Very bold sunburst. We're keeping the black really shallow. Kind of like the opposite of what I do with your sister's pussy. Oh, lucky for me, they have other variants. Guess what? They all still look like shit. All right, we gotta decapitate this. What if we just take the neck off this and throw it on? Make the logo the same color as the body. Very nice contrast, very nice pink on black. Kind of like your sister. What are they fucking doing in the design department over there? Do they just come in, hey, we need a new line of our highest grade guitars. Here's what we got. What are you fucking doing? We can get really creative with inlays. I'm thinking Japanese guitar, Ibanez, color scheme of a cherry tree. It needs Japanese symbols, of course. That literally looks like a $200 baseline guitar. Are you fucking joking? Yes, it's extremely cringe and cheesy, especially if you're Japanese, because this is literally just three, five, seven, nine, 12. I don't care, it doesn't bother me. It looks pretty cool to us white folk. Obviously you'd make other variants. This is just like, a, a Japanese sign of patriotism. It's the Patriot guitar or some shit. I do understand that they need a guitar that looks like this because some people don't really give a fuck what the guitar looks like and that's fine. As long as it plays well, they don't really care. I'm kind of like that myself if I'm being completely honest. At least make, make some other ones of the same model that look really fucking cool. Put a little design down there, right? A little tramp stamp on that bitch. That's what I'm talking about, baby. That's really tacky, actually. It's just clip art. I know most of you are wondering, Judy, why not just buy one of the sick, pretty dolled up signature models? Well, I'll be happy to tell you, but let me just finish writing this solo real fast. <laughs> It feels like cosplay. And let me tell you something, we're not going to some stupid D&D &D convention. We're going to battle. And a true knight doesn't wish to slay his greatest enemy with another knight's sword. Here we have my beautiful Charvel DK. I'm sure you'd like to buy this guitar to perform your original music on. What if I just fucking... You still want it? Is that the guitar that you want to write, record, and perform all your original music on? Buy that Sinister Gate Schecter if you want to sit at home and just learn Avenged Sevenfold songs, because it's fun, and that guitar is cool as shit. But you gotta remember, a large majority of us are trying to make original music, and we want to be as creative and original as possible. Oh god, Judy, the Les Paul. The Les Paul is a signature model. And like 50% of guitar play, let's play with play with that, they 50% of guitar players play. Nike Jordans. Does anyone care that Michael Jordan's name is on their feet? No, because the Jordan is one of the coolest looking and most innovative shoes ever made. What do we think would happen if every basketball player that got into the NBA also got a pair of signature shoes? Well, not only would we have way too many pairs of shoes to even know what to do with, at least 95% of them would just be Jordans with a different name on them and a different color scheme. Thank you. I've got a pee. You got a pee? Should I keep the mic on while I pee? Oh.